Hi y'all. Thank you for stopping by Design by Kathy. Today I'm going to be doing a video. Um, I'm going to do something a little different. It's going to be a very simple pour. Um, but I wanted to give it a different look. Uh, something, um, give it a little character or just a different look. And I think you're going to be surprised at how simple this, this technique is. Uh, and I, I'm really happy with how it turned out. So don't forget to watch all the way to the end uh, to see what it looked like at the very finish. Um, like I said, it's easy pour. You're going to need uh, your paint, of course, some masking tape, and a canvas. So let's get right to it. So I have prepped this canvas, uh, prepped it. I have prepared for what I want to do. Uh, I put like three coats of metallic rich espresso, it's deco art, uh, around the edge here. I did the sides. The sides, um, not going to worry about necessarily taping off, I don't think, because I want to make sure I have my tape even. So I'm going to be using some painter's tape. And the colors I'm going to use for in here, uh, I'm going to use phalo green, um, yellow ochre, territorial beige, and this is called true navy. So what I want to do first, now again, three coats. I dried it with a hair dryer. Um, I then put a put a coat of sealer on it because I don't want the tape to pull off all of my paint. <clears throat> so I am going to lay this on across the edge, very hopefully straight. I don't have the best eye for getting anything straight, but I'll do my best here. That looks pretty nice and straight there. Now clearly the cho the the width of this frame you want to make for the pour is your discretion to go thin or thick or really thick or whatever uh, you feel feel good about, whatever you want to try. It's your painting and it should reflect what you want to do. I think I have these uh, down pretty good, I hope, so that no paint will get up underneath them. That is the, the plan there. <clears throat> So now I'm going to start with my colors in here. Thank you. 
think I'm getting to the bottom of this. <laughs> Phthalo green, which I love, 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 love that color. Okay, so got all of our paint mixed in here, or poured, or layers, our dirty pour, our dirty cup. Set everything out of the way, hopefully. Uh, now I haven't done this, this came in my little brain, and I wanted to try it, but I think that is what makes it fun, and I know, you know, when you see some of these things that are so magnificently beautiful, you know, if some, if you don't just take a, take an idea and run with it, who knows what. Now, I've got to decide, how do I want to pour this? Do I want to flip and drag? Du, 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 du. Maybe we do. I think I've, no, I thought I'd lost a, a brace for the canvas, but I don't, I didn't. Now I'm going to take my comb. I'm not really liking all this, just too much beige right there. So we're going to add some, add some things in here, hopefully. Paper towels. Oh, where are they?
see if we can get this last corner and then I want to pull some of this blue back down in here hopefully There we go. Yay. Now, now I'm not loving I'm not loving this tan at all. So I've mixed up a little more here. Uh, I, I decided to add actually add the um, metallic espresso in. So let's see if we can fix this area. Let's, let's undo that little clump of something. Okay. these colors so much more oh yeah liking this a lot better look at that and then we're gonna have this awesome frame around it uh, still got some little unwanted visitors there. Okay, yeah, I'm, I like this, and I think this is going to uh, that that beige just I, and I love that color, but with this, it just wasn't doing it for me. Uh, I think. Uh, definitely the metallic uh, espresso espresso probably should have been what I went with in the first place but no matter we got it going on now we have cells popping up there is no silicone they just decided to come and visit looks pretty cool Okay, guys, I think that I'm trying to decide, I think we're going to let it go on and, and go over the edge because I don't want a big, thick, super thick layer there. But I don't want to lose, I don't want to lose all that, so we're going to just keep seeing if we can coax it back and forth. Look at that. So isn't that just relaxing? Watching that paint just flow.
Okay. So now what I have to do is we're going to have to let this uh, let this do its thing here for a while, and then we'll come back, take the tape off, and see if what was in my head <laughs> is going to come out on this canvas. tell you I like okay let me see I'm trying to turn it around of course I'm gonna show you all of it you know in the end but I really love 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 and I don't want to drip in un, unwanted places but I love how that then we've got this flowing and I, I, this is I think is so pretty now so anyway I'll be back uh, shortly and we'll check it out and see how it worked so um, I'll be right back so we are ready to do the reveal here and um, it's not completely completely dry there in the middle but it's going to be enough to get this these this tape off so that's our main thing right now Oh, we got a little bleeding there. Ugh. Really thought we had that down, but we can probably touch that up. All right, I'll come back in and touch up these little edges where it bled underneath the tape. But that is pretty cool. Some just something a little different. Uh, it was just a regular pour, but what a what a cool different look that it has. So uh, I will, yeah, that I can touch that up. Didn't want to have to do that, but certainly I can do that. But anyway, I think that turned out pretty cool. So I hope you'll give it a try and I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. And um, if you guys uh, are new to Design by Kathy, I hope you'll subscribe and I want to let you subscribers know how very much I appreciate you all so much. Uh, don't hesitate. Please leave me a comment, a thumbs up, and I'll see you next time.